Welcome back to another episode of Authentic Conversations. I am your host, Dirty. And I'm your host, KP. And here we have real conversations with real women in their 20s. 20s. Okay, y'all. So today we are starting a new series, y'all. Turn us up, turn us up. We didn't drop what? five episodes at this yeah. point so mm-hmm. we really getting it popping we serious we on our game we've been giving y'all back to back content and now we finna drop a whole series so this series is called things to know in your 20s if you haven't read our description we talk about how this podcast is going to discuss you know how we feel and our mindset during our 20s so why not do a whole series on it we're going to touch on three major topics and following this one, we'll have three episodes that are, like, really going depth about our lovely experience at our ripe old age. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to touch on relationships, which I think is really big. Yes. We're going to touch on finance slash career, mm-hmm. and then we're going to touch on self-love, but... We want to go ahead and get into the topic so y'all can get a sneak peek into how the series is going to go. So first, like I said, the juicy one is relationships. So how do you feel relationships are developing in our 20s? I feel like relationships are getting... I want mm, I don't want to use... It? I feel like we're we're getting to know ourselves. Mm-hmm. So I feel like when it comes to getting into relationship is basically when you feel like you are ready mm-hmm. and not feeling rushed by the other person. Mm-hmm. So okay. like y'all know what I'm talking about, waiting in time and stuff like that, that plays a big role in that because you don't want to Depending on how you feel about relationships, I know some people, like, their whole mindset is, like, if we get a relationship, I want that marriage. Like, mm-hmm. I'm dating to marry. Like, that's courting. my end up. There we go. Court it. Mm-hmm. If y'all know, look that up. Get into okay. it. Please do. So, it just really depends on how you feel towards it, to mm-hmm. be honest. I agree. I feel like, if anything... The older we get, the more, like, serious. Yeah. Like, I can even say, like, I had all these friends in my past life, but, like, were they really my friends? Like, we done with the whole, I see you every day at school, Mm -hmm. so we talk all the time, we see each other all the time. No, now you gotta make time. Oh, yeah. And that's why I feel like I do agree about how, like, if anything, you have to choose. Like, yeah. You have to put literally put in the work. I mean, mm-hmm. it's always like start with yourself first. Yeah, of course. But like starting different relationships, you know, whether it's friendships or romantic, like you got to put the time in. So it's like more and more serious because, you know, I'm not, I don't want to make it seem like life is just ending, but it's like your time just is more important. Yeah, your time. You need to start valuing your time because you yeah. be wasting. You know, your time and energy on people that didn't deserve it. Mm. Okay, in the first place, Child. somebody need to hit it. Okay? And this time flies. Like, it do. it's already almost March. Peace. And I was just writing my goals down for the year. I was just making my vision board. And we already almost three months in. Like, time is moving. You don't have time to be wasting it with people that just. That don't, mm, that don't serve you. Ain't benefiting, ain't Ain't adding nothing. If Mm. anything, they taking. They just taking, taking, taking. And they just there just to be there. Just like mm, you mm, Don't let nobody drain your energy because your energy is very important. You are important. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, I want to add this. So, do you feel like you should drop, you know, these older friendships now that we're getting older? If it's if you know that you should have been dropped it, mm. yes. Okay. Like don't try to hold on to something that you know is just like it's done. Like like I always say, people serve a reason, season, and a lifetime. Okay. So if they didn't serve their season, 
let them go. They didn't right. serve their reason, let them go. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you generally know who people that are there for a lifetime. Yeah. Like, you know that. Well, see, I feel like it puts you in a tough situation. Yeah, I think they do. everybody has transitioned, but you had some people that that was your ace bone coon, yeah. and then now it just it's just not working. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, and I think we've said this like almost in every episode, to mm -hmm. like keep an open mind. Yeah. And I think when you just start to notice that these you childhood change. friends aren't opening their mind and they're stuck. Not to say they're stuck, because I do, th I don't know, it's like people move on, like they're growing up. Yeah, I'm about to say we're all growing up. But at the same time, like they still only put your friendship like how it was yeah. back in the day. But it's like we are changing. Like, yeah, I'm not the same person. I'm not the same person. You're not the same person. And you have to realize that. Yeah. I think like, that's good. That's a good note. Like, yeah, you have to realize that. You, like, we are like two different paths of our you lives. You need to decide, do you want to be friends with this new person or not? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to be a friend to the new and improved changed person that has become your old, like, from your old friend to mm -hmm. the way they are now? Yeah. Is that your friend? Is it really? Because I was just saying, we're just not the same no more. Yeah, we're not the same, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Like I said, like, it, honestly, like, being in your 20s, mm -hmm. we have a lot going on. Yeah. We have, like, we talk about, like, these relationships. We have, you know, college. We have, like, we talk about, like, careers. We yeah. have some people are having kids. Yeah. It's like, we. Big things big things that's yeah. happening in our lives and it's okay to drop certain people you can't mm -hmm. keep everybody i know you like you said like that's my like, cool like yeah. that's my girl i don't want to drop her but sometimes you have to separate yourself mm -hmm. from the situation so yeah. you can be able to grow and you can find those new friendships <laughs> that's going to actually benefit you in the way that you wanted them to now i think there's nothing like losing and I don't want to say losing, but mm -hmm. letting go of a friend or a relationship that you just know wasn't working. Yes. And when you get a better one, oh my gosh. It's I just feel like that's one. just like euphoria. Like mm -hmm. you literally are like hitting a peak. Like all I had to do was let them go and I can really get the type of, you know, love and respect that I've been needing this whole yes. time. Mm. And I definitely... I personally had to let some people go. But I'm I had gonna, two in my past. Too. I'm going to save that for the next episode. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that because I got something to say about yeah. that. Okay, let's get into the next one. So, the next one is finances slash career. Oh, y'all. I feel like, you know, we're all torn between the love and relationship of money because I don't like that we need money. Like, I, I don't care what nobody say. We can say all day, you don't need money. Like, money's not that. Yes, it is. No. If you want to live, and especially, I don't I don't know who, I can't say who's listening, but especially in the United States, you need money. Nothing is given anymore. You literally have to provide something, make the money, and then mm -hmm. literally dish it back out so you can live. And I know personally... I don't even want to say, I, I would say like in my 20s, I don't know what it is about hitting that 20 marking up. Because I feel like 18, just, that just ain't doing it for you. Yeah. But like once you hit like 20 up, I just really felt like, okay, I need to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah. What am I doing? What do yeah. I want to do? I got to I gotta find a way to make money. Dude. So that's when I'm like, okay, what's going to be my career? Mm-hmm. What type of, not even just like, how I'm going to manage my finances. It's just like, I need to know how much I can make. How much do I want to make? No. What type real. of life do I want to live? And yeah. how much money will it cost to live like that? Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's so many variables. I, honestly, I don't want to say money stresses me out. Sure. But I just I didn't hate, get to that point. Sure, I just hate the stronghold that it has do. over It got me in a stronghold. Yes. I don't like that. Because you, like you said, like, when you're growing 
up like you're mm -hmm. in your 20s and they always tell you like in your 20s you need to experience life don't be like oh i wish i did this oh my like gosh. literally just do it i'm triggered i know i know i know because it's, it's like i, I almost hate that right. because it's like y'all talking about live life live life live life with what money, money. i cannot I go out of the country with no money where i'm going with the money Please let me know. I, I understand, you know, God come through with all that. But yes. I need the money. And I feel like, yes, I get we're not as broke as we were yeah. at 18, 19, and I would say even 20. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we're not as broke. Yeah. But we're not stinking rich. I think right. now, like, I'll even say, like, the narrative has changed. Like, some people are making bank right. at our age or Put younger. Me on. <laughs> Put me on. Please. But it's like, yes, people are now starting to make more money, you know, earlier on. Mm -hmm. But let's be real, everybody can't do that. Everybody yeah. isn't making fast money. And I realistic. just think it's so hard to really live your best life. No, for real. You don't got your coins. No, I literally said that. Like, the life that I personally just want to live is just mm -hmm. so freaking simple. Right. And it's not even nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I like I really do want to travel. I'm going to make that. Yeah. Something I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm waiting on her. She waiting on me. And yeah, I know. And I'm waiting on the money. So, <laughs> she be waiting. So, it's like, you know, just simple stuff. I, oh, getting, you know, nails and stuff like that mm -hmm. done. Like, it's nothing too crazy. I just want to live right. a life that's fulfilling for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I think that. the biggest thing is I think we need to, like, just, like, out-learn the... I have to do this to do that to do this uh -huh. to do that. Like life is going like this. It's no, not real. going. It's not a stair stepper. Everybody, I, I hate how they. Either. Yes, I feel like I hate how they teach us mm -hmm. in school that it's like, oh, it's just a staircase. You just do one thing and then you go to the next, and then you do one thing and you go to the next, and if you don't do one thing, then you can't go up the next step. Hi, baby. Skip the skip. <sighs> That is not, that's not true. It's and not everything though. do not come, like, perfect. It don't. And I'm not, and I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't get, I, and this is what I'm, I'm just going to add this little piece. I do feel like, you know, parents, they don't necessarily, like, talk about their lives like that. Like, I they always don't. say, parents do not tell us anything. We just have to ask. We're no, like, for real. Especially if, as you get older. Right. Exactly. But what if you just never thought to ask you know until mm -hmm. it's kind of like too late or whatever yeah but i do feel like their narrative was like very cookie cutter like okay mm -hmm. we did we went to school we met our wife or husband mm -hmm. we got a job got married lived our lives had kids and now here we are here we all are living together and everything is just peachy key i don't I can't say that's, you know, how everybody life went, but it just seemed like that's the normal narrative, and I'm just not even seeing that. First off, I'm 23. My my parents was married at 23. I am single with no house. No, but this is real life. This is real life. I know it's real life. That's just so irritating. I know. I know. Mm. Money, but money is just so big, y'all. It is. It's so big. <sighs> yeah, I think, okay. I think, I think, what? Mm. Mm. She felt that thing, y'all. Is, is it no, not it's, facts, No, though? it's facts, it's facts. That's why, but that's why I do believe people when they say, don't rush your 20s. Yeah, that too. Take because I do feel like the generation before us, they was doing a little too much. And I do feel like they can't admit that. They was like, if I was your age, yeah, I wouldn't have did the stuff I did because mm -hmm. I didn't get to live the life for me. That's why I think, because, oh, I'm going to wait. Okay. I'm waiting for the next episode. I mean, for that specific episode. But. And then, when oh, it comes to career mm -hmm. side of things, I feel like we are starting to switch up our careers. Yeah. And, you know, like, in elementary school, like, hey, I've always wanted to be so-and-so. Yeah. And, so. and I can definitely say that for me. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I still have a passion for what I do have a passion for. Yeah. But I think God got bigger for me at the end of the day. Yeah. He got bigger yeah. for me. So I just want to kind of switch it up mm -hmm. to find, like, Back to the money thing, like find another source of income because mm -hmm. I know what I want to do. Yeah. I'm not going to be making no hundred thousand dollars a year, which is the sad part, right? I'm probably making like 
half of that. Yeah. Probably a little bit less than that. <sighs> so I already know that ideally my finances are not going to be all of that even when I get into the career that I want. Right. So it's okay to switch up, to change, and to find your path. If you got to try multiple things, see mm -hmm. what you really like. Don't stick to one thing. Yeah. That's really true. And it's it's so many different ways that you can build a nice career for yourself. Like, mm -hmm. you don't always have to, like we say, like back in school, like, oh, you need to go to college, do this and the third. Yeah. But it's plenty of people that's proof that they didn't need college. Yeah. They found other ways to get the, you know, the education, the smarts that they needed yeah. to Because I think, I think even if you don't get a degree or whatever type of schooling you're trying to get, it's the basis is learning. Yeah. So you just need to literally learn whatever it is, the skill, the mm -hmm. training, like yes. all, anything yes. that's like, I learned how to make money, mm -hmm. which... I think that's what we should be teaching out here because, you know, you need money to live. Why are we not teaching how to make money instead of teaching, you know, not necessarily a skill, but like giving you knowledge to be able to apply, it, right. which is that's fine, but we need to focus on the money. I, School system failed us. I don't think that's too far-fetched to say teach people how to make money because at the end of the day, I feel like the finance class was probably my least rememberable yeah i remember like a little bit but it, it was like we need the bare minimum the bare minimum and we need stuff to be realistic i feel yeah. like a lot of those things wasn't yeah. really realistic it was like okay the house the kids mm -hmm. all this stuff and it's like can yeah. we just break it down and make it simple <sighs> like it doesn't have yeah well that's why i feel like in our 20s we're just starting to see clear as day I can see clearly. What is really going on? Because, you know, you don't see that. You, you don't, don't see that when you're young. You mm -hmm. just you just take what somebody's saying and you run with it. But, like, when you're starting to live it. Yeah. And live through it. Child. That's why I feel on that episode, y'all, we're trying to tell our story. Yeah. And we're still young. That's just no, like, that's just something that be kind of, like, not yeah. scaring me. Because no. I do feel like, you know, the earlier you learn, you know, the faster you can kind of correct it yeah. or, you know, move um, forward with that. Mm -hmm. But we are young. And I have to remind myself. I literally have to remind the people that I'm around, like, y'all, we are still Yay. young. We can still live. Like, like why yeah. do we? Because I feel like a lot of times. Mm, what? Wanna you want to save it? Yeah. What was you gonna say? I'm gonna just keep it basic that we try to like build this plan, you know, mm -hmm. for our life and mm -hmm. like these goals that we've set out. Yeah. And you know, especially when you do it in that like that time frame and that time, everything like, hey, I want to do this at 20. I want to do yeah. this at 20. Like, let all of that go and just live life. Yeah. Basically, was what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I think specifically with your finances, I feel like you can put because. I do feel like having that whole five-year goal is, like, good. Like, yeah, I do feel yeah. like you should try to look into your future. Mm -hmm. But by all means, don't make this, like, cookie-cutter route yeah. to get there. Like, literally, you know, in that five years, okay, the first year, I'm going to do this to try to get there. The second mm -hmm. year, I'm going to try. Like, and I'm putting emphasis on try to do this. Yeah. And, like whatever and i don't want to get too much into it but yeah. whatever guy is like leading you to that too because there might be some changes and that's okay you gotta right. accept the change okay i think that yeah gets, that's enough i think that gets into our next topic y'all yeah. i'm obviously y'all can tell we're passionate so we're really yes. really excited about this series mm -hmm. y'all because this is real life this yeah is real life but our next topic is we want to talk about like self-love and learning ourselves and as we can tell like everything stems from what we've learned when we're young yeah so it's kind of like either out learning or taking what we did learn and like maybe like switching it around and applying it to our lives mm -hmm. so i feel like if anything you know moving into that topic it is really really big to kind of navigate what you got going on yes you know what i'm saying yeah because it's so much stuff and i wanted to add like how there is you need some type of foundation. You know? Yeah, foundation is very important. I'm not going to push anything on on anybody, but I do feel like if you don't have anything base 
something to make your decisions. What you making? Mm -hmm. You just freestyling. No, for real. You just living life like, oh, it is what it is. Like, yeah. No, like you're in this world with other people that you yes. have to consider. Like you, you, know, you yeah. should be the main priority, like we're saying. But mm -hmm. it's like, come on now. You need some type of strong foundation. And yeah. sometimes you need to start at your foundation. Right. Like if your foundation is a little rocky, some mm -hmm. things are missing, start there and then work on on yeah. your build to work on that house okay okay it's okay to start from scratch if you don't even like the foundation you want to start something yes. new do that i yes. feel like okay. you, you saying that but there's so many ways to like apply that it um, is because i feel like even if you had like a bad experience like let's say you try to and i'm just say something that i'm not really connected to like let's say you started off with like being like real spiritual uh -huh. and like um I don't know what it is, astrology and stuff yeah. like that. I'm not familiar with that, so I don't want to say anything incorrect. But mm -hmm. let's say you start off with that. You know, you go, you banking off of that. Maybe you've seen like a few videos that was like motivation. It's like, oh yeah, I can kind of like run with that. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work out. Go back to the foundation. Go back <laughs> like, to the foundation. do it again. It like, it literally try again. I, I, it like hurts me to hear like people that try something and it just didn't work out and now mm -hmm. they just going willy-nilly yeah they're just, just going crazy whatever. like you don't have to do that no like i feel like everything just has a lesson yes so just learn the lesson and take that piece when you're on this journey called life mm -hmm. okay i feel like at the end of the day it does it i feel like it does start with yourself it because does. i do think you need to have a honest conversation of where yeah. you at no you do you do like you can't start if you don't even know where you started from because mm -mm. like, you might think oh i'm three steps in but you really behind the starting line yeah so you really need to like focus there first mm -hmm. at the end of the day and I, i'm not gonna say like you're gonna learn all this stuff in your 20s but yeah. i know even for me just little stuff yeah little stuff that maybe only reason I thought that way is because somebody told me that. Because mm -hmm. I I saw a thing on TikTok and it was like, um, you know, why when somebody tells you, oh, I'm this way or this is how we do oh, stuff no because way. that's just is what it, it is. is. But you just said it. Your that's way. not like true. It. It's not true. Like it stems from something. There, yeah. There's nothing that was like. Oh, we gotta be like this. Like yeah. nobody ever said anything could be any anything you want to be. Whatever you want, you can create the life that you want. People say that all the right. time. Right, and nine times out of ten, that it is how it is. Narrative is because somebody told you that. Yeah, and you just believe them and you're with it. Okay, right. You you can change that. Like we saying, like start back at that. Like start what you've been doing. Okay, mm -hmm. if it was working for you, go back to that. Like, it's okay. And I realized that, like, some things That's I'm like, dang, I did this and I see, you know, growth within myself. So let me go back right. to that because right. it helped me. Yeah. You know, because sometimes you have to help yourself. Mm -hmm. And I'm big on, like, with like, self love pouring back into mm -hmm. yourself because if you're surrounded by a lot of people, you're giving, you know, advice and things it like is, that, it, it can get very draining mm. so that's when like the spiritual part comes yeah. in honestly like going back into your word like mm -hmm. praying what's going to fill you back up yes you need to fill your cup up because if you're always pouring pouring you're going to be empty you never had nothing else to give you, you, and then when you have not to be funny but when people have their breakdowns and all of a sudden it's like what happened to such and such they were so not y'all they were not given to themselves mm -hmm. so when it got burnt out and all of a sudden their whole attitude has switched up mm -hmm. and not focus on the same thing you're like oh like she really is going off the deep end don't first off stop judging people off of you know their current situation because you don't know how they got there yeah and at the end of the day if they went so far off think about why yeah you y'all don't be trying to mm. They don't want to hear the full story. Y'all don't want to hear the full story. Mm. But just to add this little, uh, you know, y'all yeah. be so uh, surface level. Yes. I tell people that like all the time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like me just growing up, I'm really like learning that I need to actually learn like who this person is. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can't learn everything. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to, you know, 
certain situations that you know go down between like us mm -hmm. i need to know like where that you know where it stems from like yeah. let me know i want to get deep yeah i think like if anything i feel like instead of people saying your 20s is your time to like you know live your best life like do everything i think it should be your time to learn yeah like not just learn like okay we need to know one plus one equals two like mm -hmm. really learn like what life is about like mm -hmm. everything isn't just okay you sleep mm -hmm. you eat you work it's and more, you repeat like you do the same thing and i know i wasn't always like this huge open minded person i always felt like i kind of was a little different like maybe i just no i've always felt yeah because people have told me that like personally like mm -hmm. yeah, you're definitely different yeah, yeah. I and i know i different. never forget somebody was like um you know your gift or like who you are is like what people call you to do so somebody oh. like oh like can you do such and such such, such for me and you're like I don't really even think I'm the right person for that. Yeah. Somebody thought that you were. Like, somebody yeah. thought that you were qualified to do that. You are the perfect person wow. to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's literally ever-changing. Like, you never know where your life is going to go. So, like, if anything, just keep trying to learn it. Like, yeah. I feel better, like, doing stuff like this. Something where I'm having a real conversation yeah. with real people. Like, if anything, you know, it's... Social media, we didn't necessarily grow, grow up on social media like this generation now. Yeah. But it definitely was a big thing. And, like, nowadays, I mean, we talk, but there's so many other things you can talk about aside from some real stuff. Yeah. But if nobody ever having a conversation, that's where you get people that just be like, you know, oh, I never saw that. So, you know, how would I know? Like, the more you know, the better you do. Because at the end of the day, I, nine times out of ten... And this is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But nine times out of ten, if you're, like, stuck mm -hmm. doing the same stuff over and over and over again, and you're getting the same result, nine times out of ten is because you just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you just don't know. But, like, that's kind of on you. Like, did you try to, you know, outlearn those habits? Did you try to do this and try to do that? Like, you can't just be, you know... I would say stagnant. Mm. Like you got to keep one in the elevator. I, I think there's still like when you start to elevate, you start changing. You do. And change is scary. It is. So we'd be like, oh, let me just stay in my comfort zone. No, you got to. Mm, that that could be another topic. What? Like, like being like the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, because you got to step out of that. So should we make that an episode? Yeah. Yeah, like, but this is like, I don't know, like something like this, I really do feel like in all three of the topics that we cover, like, I really do feel like it is real life. Like, yeah, I know we weren't, you know, we didn't choose to be here. Like everybody always mm -hmm. saying, like, you can't choose your life. You can't okay. choose the people around you and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I do feel like the older you get, that is less and less. Like, mm -hmm. you can start making choices for your life. Yeah. And you can change your life. I know that's so cliche. No, and real. when people say that, it's like, you know, ain't like ain't like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and have a million dollars. But, I mean, if you worked hard to get your million dollars, you might actually get it. So, I mean, that is, it's easy as that. Mm -hmm. Like, you just, like, just think, if anything, that you just, like, oh, I don't know. Think, like, maybe, just maybe, it's crazy enough that I might actually, like, be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Just go do it. Okay. Let's get into our advice of the day. What do you have for the people today, Dottie? So, my advice today is to be quiet. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Be quiet and be willing to learn. Why are you so loud? She <laughs> said just be quiet. Be quiet and be willing to learn. Okay? That's true though. Like, y'all be doing a lot of this. And you be around it by, like, you know, just a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes you need to have your quiet moments mm -hmm. to really, like, reflect and learn the important things that you need to learn. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to piggyback off of that. 
And I'm gonna say, what? Be quiet, shut your mouth. Oh. <laughs> back off this stretch of mind, but I'm gonna say like open your ears. Oh yeah, oh. because and Be even quiet. open your ears. Okay, because even with that, maybe you need to start hearing like what people around you are saying, mm -hmm. whether that's negative or positive. Because mm -hmm. if it's negative, that means you heard it enough and Indeed. you need to let it go. But if it's something that you need to hear, it's like, okay. Let me start embracing that. Like if you mm -hmm. really not listening, ooh, ooh, come on. Because I was about to say, come on, you go. Get to the people. Like she said, you gotta be quiet. Oh my god. Somebody oh, no, I put it on no, this no, no, come on. Okay, no, I was gonna say so somebody told me this this week, and maybe this is why I heard it because it caught me off guard at first because I was in a rush. You know, sometimes you're in a rush, somebody talk to you like, Oh my gosh, like he's so long winded, I don't mm -hmm. wanna hear this. But I, I stood there and listened, and I kept on saying, you know, it didn't really sound like the message was for me. Like, it mm -hmm. just seemed like it was for somebody else. I just didn't know, like, you know, who was I supposed to tell? Mm -hmm. But he was saying, like, how, you know, everybody's on their phone and doing this stuff on their phone. But he was like, if you don't quiet your mind, mm -hmm. like you said, just be quiet. Like, you won't hear the message. Yes. And I don't want to get into deep because he was he was really trying to say you're not going to hear God. Yeah. But like it's true, like you you're be. you're so distracted, and Ooh. I'm guilty too. You know, I love social media. I that's why we on this YouTube channel right now because I love stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if I don't be quiet and open my ears, I'm never gonna hear it. Yeah, and I'm gonna be stuck. Be quiet and be still. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And then you confused. Cause you won't cry. You with Charlotte. Mm. Mm. Child. Mm. That's a good one though. I do feel like maybe that was for y'all. Yeah. I don't know who that was for, but I hope y'all. I hope y'all listening. Like we told y'all, because that is like so so important right now. Cause you an adult. I feel like it's a big thing. You are an adult. So I hope you guys are listening and learning throughout this series y'all i hope y'all are ready because i think this is going to be a game changer for a lot of people so mm -hmm. y'all need to tap in with us we will be starting on relationships for our next episode um hit us i think we, we should post something Okay. like to go underneath so we're gonna try to get some of you guys feedback so when we come in to record we have it up and ready a little bit of something from y'all a whole lot of something from us and we are really really excited for this aren't you ready yes i'm so excited <laughs> i can see from just this little intro i know because y'all know we, we gonna really get in like and this conversation like she said this, this is, is what i like to do and this is not like, I mean, we're playing a little bit, but it's no. not like I'm reading the script. Like, y'all have not seen me look down barely like this whole time right, because we really be going this off is of from vibes. the dome. Vibes and energy. Okay? Yeah. And we just be matching each other. Yeah. Energy. So I am like ready to get into the, like, the, we just hitting surface level. So right. we really we gonna get... get into it. Okay. Deep dive into all of that. Okay. So this concludes our episode. If you would like any advice, you can give us an email at AuthenticConversations22 at gmail.com. Okay, yeah. So, you can find all the details in the show notes below. And make sure you guys tap in with us. You can catch us every Friday with a new conversation. And we may spill the tea with Darty and KP.